But again, you see this narrative build, you know how that gallery works, and they thought the same in 19, but the margins were a bit tighter, yeah. and now they think the margins are wider, so they are more secure in this thing is over. Well, the narrative always, every single election, develops at some point towards, Labor's going to win this. <laughs> yes, you know, yeah, like, good that, point. That's always the way <laughs> that it goes. And then there's always a sort of the shock, for, huh, how did that happen? Because, <laughs> let's be frank about it, so many of the cultural gatekeepers and the people who develop that narrative are of the left and they believe that conservative governments, center-right governments, are an anomaly mm. that is to be corrected. So you see that reflected through a lot of the media and then it just becomes sort of a lazy shorthand for things. Now, the big thing that is, there's two big things that we don't know about. Number one, huge number of undecideds this time. And a large part of that is because Anthony Albanese has presented such a small <laughs> target strategy that there is literally nothing for Scott Morrison to push back against. That's a huge problem. And it's amazing that he's actually gotten away with this for so long. But again, narrative. But then the other yeah, thing... Yeah, but also drop, drop in there just briefly. Yeah. By, a by embracing net zero, they lost the biggest thing they could have won. Well, they thought that they were really. taking it off the table, but then I think that's come around to bite them. Yeah. Absolutely right, Rowan. But then the other thing here that is very key is that, you know, in a normal society, people don't think about politics and policy all the time. The last two and a half years, people have been doing nothing Great but point. think about politics. And so now they're exhausted by the process. And so all of the needles are flying all over the place. Also, yeah. I think that, um, you know, some of the breadcrumbs that I think are as large as loaves of bread is, can you imagine Albo being pushed over by the unions, being pushed over by the Labor premiers, and people, no, 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 we need a check and balance in the system, Australians like that. Um, I want to, now, again, I have avoided discussing, because the fight is the election, is this sort of pre-fight that's beginning about um, the future of the Liberal Party, if there's not enough moderates versus is it not conservative enough, rah, rah, rah. Now, I said this that if Matt Keane put his uh, water, <laughs> his oar in the water one more time, <laughs> I'm going all in against the New South Wales government. Well, right. here is the oar in the water. Have a look. Uh, we've seen the impact of what happens when centre-right parties lose moderate voices. Uh, look at the Republican Party, the party of Lincoln, the party that abolished slavery, uh, is now become the party of Trump, uh, the party of uh, Putin sympathisers and anti-vaxxers. James, you wrote it. This one. Uh, this one. This, uh, okay. Matt Keen, Matt Green, as I keep saying, um, he's in the wrong party. He, he really should be off with the and Greens. He will and kill he will his is, government. He is, but what he is trying to do here, it's very cynical, all right? Put aside just all the nonsense there that, you know, if you don't agree with the soft, squishy PowerPoint laptop class version of liberalism, then somehow you're a Putin sympathizer. I mean, come on. That's and an anti vaxxer. And an anti vaxxer yeah, yeah, and everything yeah, else. Yeah. You know, and let's maybe talk about some of those labor candidates, but that's another subject for another time. Um, what he is doing, it's very cynical. Him and a lot of the other moderates here are trying to pull down the Morrison government because Absolutely. they think that it will improve. Dom Perrottet, the New South Wales government's chances in the 2023 election. It is absolutely disgraceful. And what he was saying there was, we don't, I don't want these candidates in North Sydney, Wentworth, all these places to win because it'd be good for the Liberal Party. No, he's saying, I want them to win because otherwise I'm out here with nobody else in my faction. Correct. And that's a big problem. He does not care about what he wants is the Morrison government to lose, but some of these candidates, Trent Zimmerman, you know, all of these guys, to get over the line against the Well, he deals. was fine when it was Tony Abbott being because, taken off the table, because, but when it's Trent Zimmerman or when yeah. it's anyone Because else. the key thing here is this fight. Yeah. You know, it's and it's avoiding the natural movement of the coalition but, but to there's, there's, the Western side. But it goes further than Rowan that, James, because it. just briefly, what he said there about the party of anti-slavery that turned into Trump. Trump did more for African Americans than ev any president in American history. Full stop for jobs, for standard of living, for so many things. So, Matt Keane is a moron. He doesn't know what he's talking about. First and first and foremost. Secondly, what we have here is the schism within the Liberal Party that mm -hmm. we've been talking about on Outsiders a lot. I've been talking and writing about it for a long time. And these people are poison 
Matt Keane, Dave Sharma, Trent Zimmerman, Katie Allen, there's a couple of others, Fiona Martin, poison in the heart of the Liberal Party. They're not the ones that won the 2019 election. Correct. It was the quiet Australians who bought into the idea that Scott Morrison offered then. Now, these people have put the poison in the heart of the Liberal Party. If the Liberal Party loses this election, it is down to them. Make no mistake. Perfect. Make no mistake. And this is why the Liberal Party has to have this fight. And if the Liberal Party is not prepared to have the fight, the punters, the electorate, will have that fight for them because they're going to get rid of these characters mm. and install a Liberal Party that has proper conservative values going right back to Menzies. Lads, I could talk all night, but I think we all agree when Megan Kelly is waiting, we don't <laughs> wait. Thank you very <laughs> much. Lads. See you on Sunday. <laughs> Megan Kelly next here on Port Murray Live.